Now, uh, Nottingham will be welcoming Prince Harry tomorrow on his third official royal visit to the city in less than four years. Yes, the Prince set up an inner city youth project that's tackling gang violence in St Anne's and tomorrow he's going back there. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has been finding out how the project's been changing young lives. Tapping into talent from dancing and from rapping to acting these young performers are all part of Prince Harry's Full Effect project. It was set up after the Prince made this first visit to the community recording studio. Since then, he's made a number of private trips back, and he's taken such a close interest that he knows many of the youngsters by name. We had a couple of young kids in here, and um, it was like, who's going to teach? And Harry went, yeah, I'll do bass then. So I taught a bit of drums, so it was quite funny. Close to an hour, watching Prince Harry teach a young kid about how to play bass, and. Me and Harry went in the booth and he sang Pharrell Williams, Happy. So, um, yeah, that's a recording that I keep close to me, you know, chest. But there's nothing happy about the blighted past that first brought Prince Harry to St Anne's, a place where several young lives had been cut short in shootings and stabbings. Seren was getting into trouble with the police before being helped by the Prince's charities, but now he's employed as a full-time mentor for school children <laughs> as young as eight. We're diverting these children from certain routes and certain paths that we know all too well. So obviously there's risk of gangs, um, violence, yeah. drugs. Yeah, mush it in. Get your fingers as well, your fingers. I can literally see myself in these children. So this allows me to work using my interests and my life experiences and pass that on to someone else. So we're creating these activities, whether it's music, sports or drama, for those to engage in that, put their effort and talent in that, and then leave the other stuff behind. You came on a journey from a foreign land. And at the studio, they're preparing to demonstrate those talents when Prince Harry comes back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Most likely showing bits of musical compositions I've got together and sort of showcasing some of my MCing. To me, it's a big deal because it's somebody from the, the royal family coming to invest in, you know, communities and stuff like that. So for me, it's a good thing. It's like, it's not only big for me, it's big for Nottingham as a whole. We've got a new girl. New girl, yeah? Prince Harry's also going to see rehearsals for what they're calling the hip opera, this musical being performed in Nottingham next month with a gritty message that's designed to give St Anne's a better future. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.